Hey guys, it's Nikki Momo here and welcome back to my channel. I was asked by a subscriber to do a video all about where I get my wigs and my review on certain wigs and how much I spend on wigs and what wigs are best to use and whatnot. So I've actually had time today let alone this week, to finally get around to that because I have so many wigs and I have a lot of opinions about certain ones and some of them are licensed and some of them are not. So I hope this video is very helpful to you when it comes to buying cosplay wigs or wigs you want to wear on a daily basis considering if you're like me and don't like your hair currently or never have, then it's time to try out a wig for you. When it comes to buying wigs, you better figure out your price points and where to get certain type of wigs. Most of my wigs that I currently own have been bought on eBay. I will not be doing all of my wigs. I'm only going to be doing some that were not good, some that are really really good for their price point and some licensed wigs to help you out in case you want to stay away from eBay which I understand considering that I've had a few failures over the years when it comes to wigs on eBay. I will be providing pictures to show what uh, wigs I own and what I saw on the internet to get me to buy the wig because I will admit pictures can be deceiving when it comes to purchasing things online. So for the first wig that we're going to be sharing is the pink one I am currently wearing, which is one of my favorites considering the bangs are perfectly cut by me and styled the way I wanted them to be styled. I'm going to say this wig uh, was roughly between $20 $22 with free shipping. This was a wig for Supersonico, but since I haven't even started on making any Supersonico cosplays, uh, the downside out of these wigs when you get them synthetically, uh, especially long ones, they get matted quite easily and you'll have to wash them more than once. If it's every once in a while, then I wash every month or so. And every time I wash them, I hang them to dry and I trim a little bit just to get rid of the matted texture on the end. The next wig I am going to be talking about that I also purchased on eBay is this blonde nice sandy blonde wig. It comes with little pigtails here to put at the side. I made an accidental purchase uh, a few years ago and it was a costume that I was trying to see what the price was overall but then my computer lagged and automatically made it go through so I ended up buying the costume so I didn't want a costume to go to waste so I bought uh, the wig for it and did a shoot in it and I've had a few of my friends wear the wig. It's pretty nice. I bought it between I think $22 to $25 with free shipping. I've cleaned it once and it's not very matted and the pigtails have stayed in shape which is amazing because sometimes when you wash synthetic wigs in lukewarm water it can get rid of the curls so always wash it in cold. The next wig we're going to be talking about it is one of my personal favorite wigs. It is my other uh, pastel pink curly wig that I use for my skull gunk cosplay. This was originally $22, maybe $25 with free shipping. This was perfect for my skull grunt cosplay. I've worn it a few times in videos. I've worn it on a daily basis and I have streamed in it. It's very soft still. I have not trimmed it, though I should, but I've washed it three times. It's a little stained at the back here because of the black um, shirt where cheap dye has rubbed on to it. And it still has its shape, the wavy shape to it, which I was scared to uh, lose after watching it a few times. Another wig that is also my personal favorite that I bought on eBay is this nice platinum blonde wig that I bought for my Gwenum cosplay. Um, it actually had longer bangs and I trimmed it to a straight cut because of Gwenum's hairstyle. I've washed this three or four times since I've had it. It's still soft and the ends needs a little trim but it didn't get matted um, quite as quickly as the other wigs I have shown you. And another wig I am going to be recommending is this one right here. It's a little bit messy because um, it's been stuffed up in my 
dresser for a while. It is my diva wig that I bought for about $25 off of eBay. It gets matted very easily because it's super long. Uh, tip here, if you're gonna buy a wig on eBay, this is just my personal preference. If you're going to buy a short wig and you don't wanna spend an arm or leg for, eBay is perfect. Synthetic wigs, when they're short, like over the shoulder, they don't get as matted as easily as long ones, and they're easy to maintain and take care of, so I recommend eBay 100% to get really short wigs. But for long wigs, you may consider somewhere else, or eBay if you're not really going to be savoring the cosplay, but uh, I got this one for the Diva cosplays that I own, and I may use it to, you know, shorten it for another cosplay in the future, because I can see myself wearing this more than once. And my last wig, I'm going to give you an example of what I was just talking about. This is my short Mad Moxie wig that I bought, uh, I believe the beginning of last year when I was finishing making it. It is short, it goes up to here, maybe just slightly above the shoulder. This is actually uh, being sold on eBay as Yuna's wig from Final Fantasy X, but it's the perfect wig for Mad Moxie, minus the fact I can't curl it upwards, but it's perfect as Mad Moxie. It has never been matted, it never gets tangled. I've washed it three times just because I want it to look perfect for Mad Moxie. Um, the bangs are perfect. I've trimmed a little bit of the bangs, like always, just to get uh, the, the perfect look. This was literally like $18 with free shipping. And now I'm going to show you the bad ones. Now I did a video a few months ago about which suit I ordered from the Flash series. And it was either did I get the flash or did I get zoom and in the video I got the zoom suit because it looked really awesome. Anyway, I got my cosplay wig for it and I ordered a silver, a long wavy silver hair to match the suit. I raved in the video on how perfect it is and how I'm in love with it and I think it's the most amazing silver wig I've ever owned. Turns out... I ordered a wig recently and it finally came in yesterday and it was a green wig that was very similar to that and I wanted to wear this wig on a daily basis because I'm starting to go into the pastel look for spring. I don't know why, it's just, it's my guilty pleasure colors, all the pastels in the world. But when I got the wig, which is this green one right here, as you can see it's very beautiful, it's a very nice green tone. Uh, you would think that it's going to look amazing on me. At the back, when I put it on, you can see the cap very easily. So when I put it on, it looks great at the front. Like, you can't see my hair and you can't see the wig cap. But when you put this on and then you look behind it, you can see all the layers. And I was so upset because it was the same company that I bought my silver wig for Zoom. So I grabbed my silver wig and I put it back on and it showed all the layers as well at the back. And the picture was so deceiving. I was so mad because it was affordable and it looked perfect, but it kind of lied to me about the layer at the back because the layers at the back of the picture, it was completely flat, you couldn't see it, and it was on a mannequin head, but when I grabbed it and put it on, even adjusting the uh, straps at the back, it still showed. And I styled my wig so many ways to cover the back, I was not happy with it whatsoever. The company that I ordered, the silver and green wig, which I really didn't notice until I got the package the second time, is called Cosplay Salon. I'm going to stay away from Cosplay Salon because of the pictures looking very deceiving. I gave them a good review for the silver wig saying it was perfect. The silver wig is perfect, but since I'm going as Zoom, the back is going to be covered, so I'm not upset with that wig whatsoever. But the green one, I was so mad that I gave it a bad review and then they emailed me asking if they could return my money to give them a positive feedback. 
I only spend 20 bucks, I'm not gonna cry over $20. No, they could keep my $20 and keep my negative review because that's how upset I was at how deceiving their picture was. Oh my god. I'm gonna show you this disastrous wig. Uh, back in 2016, I was inspired to do the Harley Quinn Suicide Squad movie version. And at the time, I didn't have blonde hair. I had, I think I had like just purple and blue galaxy hair. I can't really remember what hair color I had, but I know I had colored hair. And I bought this wig, which is the layered wig and this was one of the worst wigs I have ever purchased. Why? Because the wig cap has no stretch. There is absolutely no stretch in this wig. I don't know why there was no stretch. There should have been a stretch in this wig cap. Because the first 20 minutes of wearing this, after making my cosplay, I had a killer headache. And then I decided to wear the cosplay for three to four hours. I was so mad because I spent thirty dollars on this wig and I got no satisfaction out of it. I wore it once to a con and I promised myself I am never gonna wear this wig again to another con. I don't know why I still have it. I think I'm gonna keep it for a little bit longer to do a shoot for Patreon, but other than that it's gonna go in the garbage soon. So I recommend you guys not to buy this wig if you decide to do the movie version of Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad. Now we are gonna be talking about licensed wigs. These wigs are strictly off of eBay and they're a bit more pricey than the ones I was recently talking about. I don't have a lot of licensed wigs so this is gonna be a short part but I eventually want to buy a uh, licensed wig from other places that I've been starting to following on like social media. So this one is a platinum blonde with a slight wave to it. I adore this wig. I got this wig from Arda.ca. Uh, make sure is .ca for Canadians and com is for the Americans. They're, they actually have two websites. This was about $50. Um, I'm not saying it was a waste of money. This was a, one of the best purchases I've made when it comes to wigs. Um, I didn't have to trim it and I didn't have to style it. I used this for my Killer Frost idea for Patreon and possibly uh, an outfit for the future. I've worn this wig uh, quite a few times outside the house. I have worn it a few times on my streams. I still need to trim the ends of this wig. Um, I just recently washed all my wigs. I still haven't trimmed them, that's why. Um, the downside of this purchase was the shipping is kind of ridiculous, so the best way to um, uh, get a really good uh, low ship thing is if you uh, you banned a group of friends and reduced the cost of shipping. Got this wig because uh, one of my friends was doing a big bulk uh, purchase and she didn't want to spend the amount of shipping so we all band together and just bought $50 wigs and the shipping was like two bucks literally. The last wig I'm going to be talking about, this wig is quite old. I think I think it's slowly falling apart, which I'm not surprised. Um, th it's another blonde wig. It's my little short bob wig. It's short at the back, so right above the uh, shoulder area and the, of the neck. And then it's got long pieces at the side here, which I love. And then it's got little, like, little bangs at the front. Uh, I bought this. Oh, back probably 2013, 12, 13. Uh, this was also 40, 45 dollars. Um, I wore this when I made my very first um, Flareon cosplay, like Polka Fan Flareon. It's still really soft. I've washed it quite a few times over the years, and now I'm noticing it's starting to fall apart at the back. Uh, this was made by Geisha Wigs, and, but now they are called Lush Wigs, and they're affordable uh, depending what style you want. Um, I think their wigs are between 29, last time I checked, uh, 29, 
41, 45 dollar, uh, 45 in pounds, uh, which is roughly like between uh, 50 to like 80 dollars in Canadian. That's that's quite a lot. I still recommend them. I have not bought a wig uh, since I bought this one, but I've been actually looking at the newer wigs lately, and there's quite a few that I want. But like from the price range I just told you about, it's not going to be for a while. But I do intend to do another purchase to them in the future. So that is majority of my wigs that I have. I have a few more, but they're not really worth the show to be really honest. The rest of them are also from eBay and they're also from the same price range so there's not really much I can go on. If you are going to look for a cosplay wig that you want to wear on a daily basis, I don't think eBay will be good for you. I think you should try licensed wig companies considering they make better quality wigs to use on a daily basis. If I had to recommend you links to uh, wigs that you want to wear on a daily basis or for fashion, uh, I strongly recommend Gothic Lolita uh, wigs or um, Lush wigs. I'd say Arda wigs, but Arda wigs is more for cosplays and whatnot. If you guys are looking for shorter wigs that are slightly above the shoulder or between the neck area and the jaw, I recommend the ones from eBay. They don't get matted easily like the long wigs that you see online. I don't know, that's just my personal preference. I wouldn't say don't ever shop on eBay for long wigs. For eBay, I think spending between $15 to $25 is very reasonable. $30 depending on the length of the cosplay, then go for it. I think anything that's $35 and up for wigs on eBay is a little ridiculous. I, I don't trust it. You never know what you're gonna get when it comes to things like that. I'd rather spend my $35 and up on the licensed wigs that I mentioned before, like Lush wigs and Gothic Lolita wigs. I heard AliExpress or AliExpress is uh, starting to step up their game on uh, selling wigs in better conditions like they did before. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to know what wigs are affordable and what's best to go for than the other. I hope the recommended websites I have offered to you would be also helpful and if you're interested in looking at those websites, uh, the links are down below in the description box. I like to do a clarification that I am not being paid to promote those websites. Those are strictly just what I would recommend as a consumer. If you guys like this video of cosplay wigs, what to buy and what not to buy and thought it was useful, please give this video a nice like. And if you want to follow me on my other social media accounts, all the links are down below in the description box. And make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for more videos such as these, cosplay shenanigans, get ready with me videos, crafting videos, and much more content. I would like to thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great one, and see you all in my next video. Bye!